Yeah, as long as he's talking, I can hear him. I'm going to scan this real quick. Yeah, it's going to be like 23 in a second. All right, Coach, just talk about Miller's second half burst. Well, uh, you know, it kind of got him a little bit at halftime. I didn't think that he was really focusing in uh, where his mental need to be for this ball game. And, uh, but he settled down, and, uh, you know, he came out and performed the way we were expecting to. Um, I thought early on um, they were really guarding he and Deary very close, kind of like a no touch. And um, I just didn't think that we was there and ready to move the way we need to move and execute the way we normally do because they were kind of up in us, bumping and grinding on us. So we talked about the second half and we came out and they did well making the adjustments. Does he have that switch where you can turn it on and off? Because it seemed like he was just drilling threes from the second half well you know most of the time you know he get open look he shoot a pretty good percentage so you expect for him to make a lot of them you kind of you know wondering why he's missing but you know he's human as well so i also told the guys the coaches going in at halftime is that we can't expect him to make every shot he takes so i kind of think the expectations was high for him in the first half and that he really didn't come out really mentally focused in. And after we settled down the second half, I think you've seen a different guy. And then we were able to get in transition a little bit and get him a couple touches. What about Javon? He's very clutch on the inside for you guys in the first half there. Yeah, this team is growing. Uh, I said all the time, he, he's just as important as Derek and, uh, and Malcolm. Um, you know, he's a guy that we throw it to on the inside who has the ability to score some baskets. So uh, he's going to be important for us every night we step out on the floor. Talk about how your team responds well when it, somebody counter punches this team, they really punch back. Well, this team really, really stands up for 40 minutes. We talk about that all the time. Uh, we, we feel like that we have some people in place that we can keep uh, intensity for a period of time. And we talk about over 40 minutes. And, and uh, this team is starting to develop some basketball character, but also there's some pretty good leadership. And um, Derek and, and, uh, and um, Grace, they kind of keep us going and talk us through some things. We don't just get our head down. We able to lift up. And then Malcolm, we got a couple of energy, energy guys. Malcolm, energy guy, and Brandon as well, too. So uh, they can fight through some things that we don't get down too far. Uh, you like where the team is? 18 games in the season, or 6 and 0 to the SWAC. It's been a while since the school's been this, uh, this good in the SWAC to start the season. Uh, you asked me that today. I, I, I appreciate the guys' effort in the record right now, but we know we, we're taking it game by game. It's a long season, and, you know, we'd like to be there in the end instead of here early. So we're going to stay focused. Uh, uh, we're going to take one game at a time. We got a tough road trip coming up, so we're going to try to prepare for those games on the road and, and see what happens. Coach, uh, obviously, I mean, you guys are making it look easy right now. I mean, you're not just beating people, you're beating them pretty badly. Uh, I mean, what I, what do you think of, of the way y'all are playing? It's, it's I don't know. As good as it can get. I don't know if that was easy tonight. I think we got a run going. I think the score uh, really don't express how the game was played. But the guys, we got the guys that are capable to throw the basketball in. And I think sometimes, uh, you know, we depend on, on our defense. And I think if we can play defense the way we're capable and execute, uh, be pretty uh, efficient on offense, we have a chance sometime to go on, on huge runs. I would imagine it's going to be hard, too, to you know, for anybody to come in this building and beat y'all right now the way this crowd is, is really getting behind the team. Well, this crowd will give us a lot of energy. I think tonight, uh, you see, we were, I think, first half, you know, we started off on fire and we got a little flat, um, you know, and, and, it's, and they help us get through it, and they help us get through it, and they kept encouraging us, and I think that helped us down the stretch to make the run that we made. And, of course, I think a lot of it, uh, you know, I played Grace tonight. You can see he really wasn't game ready, but, you know, second half he did a lot better. So I did uh, suspect a little bit of inconsistencies early if I was going to put him in the ball game. Mm. And um, what do you see his role as you know, moving forward? Are you, are you kind of slowly working him back in there? Well, we, like I know he's not 100%. But uh, I thought it was important in front of the home crowd to at least get him in the game tonight. And uh, we'll have a chance to, to use him a little bit on the road. We're not going to rush it at all. Uh, we put him in and, and give Christopher Hyde a, a break here and there. And, uh, but his leadership is huge for us. 
Uh, he's kind of a guy that don't make too many expressions and he kind of study and just fight through it. And he knows what I want. So with him on the sideline, coaching the guys through it, and with him going in the game, I hope it makes us that much better down the stretch. Malcolm.